Terry Bailey here, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church, East Canton, Ohio. Concluding today my backwards trip through the book of Philippians, concentrating on things that are good advice every single day, but especially good advice these days. In chapter 4, we saw the opportunity to receive the peace that passes understanding by deepening our prayer life and the peace of God that comes by concentrating on the virtuous, the beautiful, the excellent, and the positive. In chapter 3, we saw that uh, we must press forward now toward the high mark of our calling in Jesus Christ. Now is the time and the best opportunity to do so. In chapter 2, we saw that happiness comes from thinking less of ourselves and more of others, and that we shine as lights when we cease to grumble and complain and begin to just praise God in these circumstances. The last word from chapter 1, verse 27. Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or remain absent, I will hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. My last word from Philippians for you in this time of crisis, stand firm. Whatever else must be let go of, strive for the one faith and the one gospel and the one-minded unity of believers. Stand firm. And all the blessings of God will be attendant upon us. If you will pray with me. Father, help us to take these lessons that we have learned from your servant Paul and to apply them to our lives at all times, but to apply them especially at this time for our sakes, for the kingdom's sake, for the sake of those floundering about us in this crisis, for your glory, for our good. In Jesus' name, amen.